Hi. Did you see this beautiful thing that my niece made me, this decoration for my birthday? That was very sweet of her. Thank you, Isla. And ooh, um, the lighting is always so terrible here, but hopefully you can see me okay. And here we are for our weekly breathe and meditate session. We have this lovely scene behind me so we can check out the lake and I think, no, just some, just some branches, no geese today. And um, listen to the birds as we do some breathing and some meditating together. So let me take off my shoes. I can sit comfortably here with you and for those of you who may be new to joining us for meditation welcome thank you so much for coming for those of you who are not new thank you for returning it means the world to me that you get something important out of our time together and that you support my business in the ways that you do so thank you so much so when we meditate, a few reminders. We want to be sitting comfortably. So we want to either sit in a comfortable cross-like position like I'm doing, or if you're sitting on a chair, that's fine. You want both feet next to each other on the floor. So um, you don't want to cross at the knees or the ankles. You want to have the energy flowing freely through the whole body. And we want to remember that meditation is not about an outcome or a goal necessarily. Very often we're able to feel more peaceful, more relaxed, more energized, or let go of things that we've been carrying, but sometimes we don't and that's okay. Um, but the point of meditation is to just continue with the act of meditation and when we get distracted and when our thoughts get pulled away then we want to remind ourselves to come back to our meditation come back to the breath and you'll notice that I cue for people to return to the breath um, because our breath is something that we can always have with us and we can always focus on but if you'd like um, to focus on some other thing or, um, you know, if there's an object or a candle or a photo of somebody important to you and that's where you'd like to focus your meditation today, then please feel free to do that as well. So with that in mind, we want to make a decision and choose what our area of focus is going to be today. Mine will be the breath as usual. And I think that we'll start with a few deep breaths together, move into um, a guided meditation together, and we'll see, see what comes out of my mouth <laughs> as, as we do each time. So I invite you to sit comfortably, to sit up straight and tall. We want the head, the neck, and the spine in alignment, the shoulders can be back so if it feels good we can roll them up back and down roll those shoulder blades down the spine so we're gently lifting the chest gently lifting the chin you're welcome to close your eyes you will likely find me with my eyes closed through most of our meditation today but you don't have to you can gaze upon the um, thing that you're choosing to meditate on, also known as the anchor. You can choose something behind me, that beautiful tree or the moving water. Um, so decide what you'd like to be your focus for your meditation today. And bring your thoughts to that focus. I'll be bringing my thoughts to the breath. And first, I'm just going to notice the gentle rise and fall of my chest as I inhale and exhale. 
We'll notice the muscles begin to relax. We'll notice the sounds around us. The birds and the rushing water. Maybe other sounds from your home. And whatever those sounds are, whether they are peaceful or whether they are grating or distracting, we're going to be thankful for those sounds because we're going to use those sounds in our meditation practice today as reminders that when our thoughts are pulled away from our breath or when our focus leaves our meditation, we can just remind ourselves to come back. So if we hear a sound and it pulls our focus, maybe it's a small child in the background saying mom or dad, maybe it's a pet vying for your attention, maybe it's neighbors, loud neighbors, whatever it is, we're going to be grateful for those sounds during our meditation and breath practice today because they are reminders to continue to bring ourselves back to our center. So as we hear the birds chirping behind me, our thoughts, thoughts are pulled away from the breath. We remind ourselves that we are acknowledging that sound, we're acknowledging how we feel about that sound, and we're bringing our thoughts back inward, our thoughts back to our focal point for today. And you know that I always like to set an intention for a yoga or a meditation practice. So if you would like to set an intention for our practice together today, I invite you to determine what you'd like to focus on. Maybe it's something about yourself, something about your body, your health, that could be physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual. Or if you're feeling pretty decent today, if you're feeling okay, maybe you'd like to dedicate this time to someone that you love, a friend, a family member, a loved one. Or alternatively, maybe you'd like to get, dedicate this time and this practice to our communities or to our global community or the earth or the universe. So whatever you choose, I'd like you to take a moment and picture your intention in your mind. Imagine where you are, who you're with, what you're seeing, hearing, and feeling. Take a few moments and picture it. And as you paint that picture in your mind and as you color it in with all of the thoughts and the feelings that go along with that, I want you to pull that picture from your mind into your heart. Put it in a safe place there and acknowledge 
that this is your intention for our practice today. We're bringing our focus now to the heart. We're coming back to that inhale and exhale, noticing the chest gently rise and gently fall. And slowly here you can begin if you'd like to join me in deepening the breath and filling the lungs up from the bottom to the middle to the top and exhaling from the top to the middle all the way to the bottom of the lungs inhale fill up the lungs from the bottom to the middle all the way to the top and then exhale from the top to the middle to the bottom of the lungs squeeze the abdomen squeeze all the air out of the body and then relax the abdomen inhale Open up the lungs to receive the air as you fill the lungs all the way up. When you get to the top of the breath, take in just a little bit more. Expand that chest and then exhale. Release all the air from the lungs. Continue taking a few more deep breaths like this. Bringing your thoughts back to the intention in your heart today. Knowing it's tucked away somewhere safe. Knowing that this is important to you. And then bring your focus back to the breath, back to your anchor, back to your thought or object that you're meditating on today. And as you inhale, breathe in peace and relaxation so that you can maintain that focus. And as you exhale, I invite you to release anything that isn't serving you, anything that's distracting you, anything that's getting in the way of our practice today or of your focus throughout the week. As we inhale, we're inhaling peace and relaxation. We're inhaling joy and comfort. And as we're exhaling, we're exhaling those things that get in the way. Fear, anxiety, tension, pain, sometimes our own thoughts and actions, sometimes our own thoughts or actions that we aim at ourselves. And rather than berating ourselves for doing something human, which we all do, 
instead. We'll acknowledge those moments. Ask for forgiveness. And do our best to let them go. And as we think about forgiveness, as we think about self-love, as we think about past actions or thoughts that may be harmful to ourselves and others, it's important to know and to remember that all of the good that we do and all of the ways that we fail we are loved we're meant to be here so as you inhale I invite you to inhale that love surrounding us, supporting us, helping us move from one moment to the next. And as you exhale, I invite you to release those feelings of having said the wrong thing having hurt somebody we love or ourselves. So often we're already forgiven long before we're able to forgive ourselves. And as we breathe and as our thoughts are pulled away by those sounds around us, we're reminded to bring those thoughts back to our center, back to our focal point, back to our anchor. We acknowledge those sounds, we acknowledge those distractions, we notice them, and then we bring ourselves right back center. As we inhale and as we exhale, we're inhaling forgiveness. We're exhaling the memory of past hurts we might have caused ourselves or others. As we inhale, we're inhaling love. We're filling our hearts and our bodies with that love. And we're so full of it that when we exhale, we're also exhaling love. We're becoming the conduit for that love in our lives. everyone around us, to everything we touch, to every situation we're involved in. We're channeling that love and expressing that love. And when we're able to unblock ourselves, which is a life's journey, it's not something that happens in one moment or one day. When we're able to work on unblocking those blocked energy passages, on getting the things out of our way that are tripping us up, we can become that channel for love to flow through us, to freely flow in and out, to accept that truly we are made of love 
and it's our duty and our joy to share that love with the world around us. Take a few moments now to take a few deep breaths, focusing on inhaling that love, feeling it wash over your whole body, and exhaling that love and sharing it with the world around you. And as we take a few deep breaths, we'll bring our focus back to the breath, back to this moment. We're remembering if we've maybe gently started to hunch the shoulders, to roll them back to sit up straight and tall to create that aligned spine to imagine the energy channels opening throughout the body so that the energy can flow freely rather than getting stopped up or blocked up in any one place And it's important to remember when we're trying to do any good work in the world and whether that is sending our good energy out into the world or whether that is contributing in some concrete way. It's so much easier to do when we're full of self-love and self forgiveness then the work that we do isn't a punishment instead it's a gift and maybe that work that we do is simple now maybe it's cooking a meal for ourselves Maybe it's taking a break and engaging in some self-care. That work might not be on a large scale. But how much more joyful that work is when we can do it with love. Knowing that the meal that we're cooking will nourish the body that we love and the bodies of our family members. That we love. Knowing that every act of service begins with an act of service to ourselves, accepting ourselves for who we are, all the good things, all the things that people that love us admire about us, and all the things that we know we could improve on.
want you to bring your thoughts back to your intention for our meditation practice today. Bring your thoughts back to your heart. Open up the door to that safe space where that intention has been resting. And imagine yourself holding that intention out to the sky, out to the world, out to the universe, for all to see. This is what's important to you. This is what you care about. Now imagine that intention floating from your hands. Know that it's been heard and received. And I invite you to bring your focus back to your breath. Back to the inhales and the exhales, back to the gentle rise and fall of the chest. And as you inhale, fill up the lungs all the way from the bottom to the middle, to the top. And as you exhale, empty the lungs from the top to the middle, to the bottom. Inhale, fill the lungs up from the bottom to the middle, all the way to the top. And exhale from the top of the lungs to the middle of the lungs to the bottom of the lungs. As you inhale and exhale, I want you to scan the body, starting with the head, moving down all the way to the toes. Just notice, are you seeing any points of tension? any pain, any tight muscles where we might be holding stress, any areas that need a little extra TLC. As you inhale and exhale, just scan the body, noticing for any of those points. And now that we've scanned the body, we've looked for points of tension, maybe we've found them. I invite you to inhale, send the breath to those areas. And as you exhale, exhale the tension completely away. Inhale, send the breath to those points of tension, points of pain, tight muscles, necks, shoulders, backs, arms, legs, minds, hearts, stomachs. Send the breath to the areas that are bothering you. Cover those areas in light. And as you exhale, exhale the tension. Watch it leave the body, float up and away, out the window, out into the sky, and be gone. Leaving you with the breath, leaving you with self-love and self-forgiveness. 
and leaving you with hope. As you inhale and exhale, I invite you to bring your thoughts back to this space. Gently shift the body, gently open the eyes, and join me back here. And hello, hello. M. Shayar Ali, welcome. And welcome back to all of you that are here with me. Hopefully you feel good. Hopefully you feel a little bit more energized to face the rest of the day. And as we meditate together, um, if you notice any sensations, if you notice that you're seeing anything, maybe you're seeing colors or maybe you're seeing a movie or a vision unfold in your mind. If you're feeling anything, if you feel like your body is moving but you know you're not or if you feel like some part of your body feels warmer or colder. Um, I want to let you know that all of these are, are normal things. Lots of things happen sometimes during meditation. Different things happen for different people at different times of meditation. So not to be worried about it, but maybe make a note of it um, as something to think about later if you notice those things happening when you're meditating. So thank you so much for joining me. I love being here with you and guiding you through breath work and through meditation through our breathe and meditate class and if you're able to support my small business then I thank you there are two ways that you can pay me one is PayPal both links are connected to this video that's um, paypal.me slash bliss evolution and cash.app slash bliss evolution that's the cash app um, that you might have downloaded on your phone so thank you again for joining me. It's my pleasure to serve you in this way. And I will see you again next week. Bye, everybody. Thank you.